What is going on y'all? Travis here back with season seven, episode two of Grey's Anatomy. They say lightning never strikes twice, but that's a myth. What's that mean? They're about to be another shooting? <laughs> it was so scary. Seeing Derek lying on the floor bleeding like that. It's so scary. Feels good just to, you know, get that out. Thank you. I feel like I'm ready to go back to work. It doesn't happen often. Lightning usually gets it right the first time. Let's uh, talk more about that tomorrow. He still doesn't think so? Wow. Do you need a, a tissue or a hug or something? Go hug yourself. Ah. I mean, I don't know, man. When you're hit with 30,000 amps of electricity, you feel it. <sighs> Morning. It can make you forget who you are. Just stay calm. We're just married. We're just gonna get up and go to work. I've got, got this under control now. I need to eat this little multigrain, and then we're just gonna go to work. I'm gonna get a little blood on those hands. I'll feel good, okay? Get up, get naked, get in the shower. A little morning soapy sex, then I'm gonna wash your hair. I'm always wanting to wash your hair. She's Can freaking out about being Blind married. You. Stop your heart. Sounds big. Come on, we see an apartment fire. Ah. When is the staring gonna stop? is a novelty work. I wouldn't wash my hair. And he told me to eat this nut bar. And he booked me into surgery this morning. I'm a bride and I'm going with it. The trauma guy didn't clear you. Yeah, but he said he'll figure that out. Yes! I am the one who freaks out and screams at people like that. Go gawk at each other for a while. Are you okay? Would everybody please just stop asking if I am okay? And cause massive internal injuries. Did he clear you yet? No. I resorted to tears. What did Derek say? Oh, I will be avoiding him today. So you don't have to talk to him about the baby thing? No. Oh, because you left him in the pokey. Yeah. For something that happens in only a millisecond. He's still there. Did you feel different? You know, after you scribbled on the post-it? I mean, you're supposed to feel different, right? It takes time. Give it some time. I mean, your marriage is filled with secrets and felons. I mean, why am I asking your advice? Ah. It can change your life forever. Dr. Shepard, the oh, he's chief out. is looking okay. for you. You missed the wedding last night. I know. You smell like pee. I know. <laughs> How was the wedding? It was fine. I'm sorry you missed it. I was busy getting an incarceration record. Do you know what that means? It means you drive too fast. Derek, you smell like... Yeah, I know what I smell like. I have to go to the bed. We're not done talking about this. Oh, God. All right. Throw some paint at Don't bottom. You say know that. Up. Yang decorated the place for her, and it's just a little harsh and frowny. I'm going to stop you right there. I decorated that place. I meant Ooh. modern and edgy. It's going to be our place. I just need it to be a little more smiley. Mm. Oh, God. Frowny? Edgy. W watch it. Sorry. Correct. Dr. Bailey. You still have that bullet in your chest. Uh, oh, yeah. It's fine. We meet bullets in people all the time. It must hurt. Does it hurt? Nope. Does it hurt when I do this? Ow! That it probably hurts fine. without it the bullet foreign, there. It is and it has no business being in your body. Get it out, or I'll see to it that you won't operate until you're operated on. Rude. Andrew Perkins hasn't signed off on her. She won't feel like herself until she's back in surgery again. You know Yang. This is a once-in-a-lifetime. It is a hell of a lot of pressure. She saved Derek Shepard with a gun to her head. I don't think that pressure is the issue. We owe her this. She needs it. Put her back in the game. Y'all better hope she doesn't Linda freak out. Linda has been here three times for removal of malignant myxomas from her heart. I'll be doing that again. No, by removing both atria, the cancerous cells, you won't have to keep coming back here. Hello, Dr. Yang. Nice to see a familiar face. Mrs. Kotler was a patient of Dr. Burke's. You assisted on her last myxoma removal. Of removed. course. You were getting married, weren't you? Sorry? Uh, last night, actually. You and Dr. Burke? Last time we were here, he said you two were getting married. No, that didn't happen. Oh. What a shame. Oh, but God. But you did get married. Awkward. Yes, we did. Oh, well, nice to see you again. <laughs> well, we'll be back in with some forms oh, for you to sign. Oh, God. Take you out. Congratulations to you two. Thank you. So okay, awkward. Okay, multiple burn victims. Two with paralysis. One uh, with uh, blown eardrums. House fire? Explosion? Right. Uh, act of God. Yeah, lightning strike. One lightning strike, eight victims. Ah! God was in a mood today. Yeah. How did it strike all of them? Probably hit one of them and conduct her off onto the breast. Lexi, TM rupture, trauma one. I'll see you in there. Babe. Oh, tell me something. First Babe. Time, that house, what's the appropriate amount of time to wait before you propose? Longer, long, a long time. Not now. 
specifically how long? Hey, this is my friend Karen. She, she's a girl. She, she's the only girl. Hi. Uh, hi, you changed. Yeah, I showered. Thanks to you. He uh-huh. was struck by lightning while playing flag football, and he's complaining of paralysis in his left arm. Can you move your fingers for me? Yeah, see, I couldn't do that when I first got here. Your arm should come back to normal in a couple hours. You know, they almost revoked my driver's license. Can somebody please check on Carrie for me? Hey, we're still not done talking about this. Hey, wiggle your toes for me? I still can't. Am I going to be in a wheelchair? We're going to take you in for a CT. It is just temporary from the lightning. A couple of your friends have it, too. They're already starting to get some okay. feeling back. A friend of yours, Russ Gammy, is asking about you. How's Warren Griffith? Did he ask about me? Excuse me. Who's this, Russ or Warren? Mitch. Mitch, now. Have you seen Warren? Is he oh okay? Oh, my God. I got to say this. That <laughs> lightning bolt was like a one in a million shot. So I got to take one, too. I love you, Carrie. And if we get through this, I will love you forever. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Sir, I'm sorry. If you're not being treated, then you're going to have to go to the waiting room. Carrie, can you hear me? Yeah, Awkward. I can hear you fine. I just didn't want him to know that I heard. You're a popular girl. All no, right. I'm sure he's just overexcited. Can someone just please check on Warren for me? I need to know if he's okay. He's... Okay. We got two burst eardrums, but they will heal themselves too. Does that mean there's no surgery? Can I go? Because Dr. Shepard's here, so he might have something. Carrie will need a workup. I'm sorry, why is this better than what Dr. Burke did? This is radical and risky, but Linda's heart wall has grown weaker with every radical surgery, and so there are greater odds of cardiac rupture. This may be her last chance. Paul. Honey, every two years we come here and I watch it take 10 years off your life. I can't do it anymore. And neither can you. What about you? Do you think this is the best idea? If this was your husband, would you let Dr. Altman tear apart his heart? Yes, this is what you want. Okay. Okay. See you in there. It's okay. I hope she ends up okay. What are these? Traces. They're all beige. They're all subtle. Pastels and earth tones. Blue. That's green. That's yellow. To take the edge off all the chrome and concrete. What do you think? I think I don't want to live in an Easter basket. Really want to live in the yes, bat cave, but meet me halfway. Blue, green, and yellow. Uh, yes. I must be colorblind, girl. My patient scans are. And uh, seriously, they're all beige to me. Me too. Well, then it shouldn't be hard to pick one. I'm looking for Warren Griffith. That's me. I feel kind of queasy. You got hit the hardest. Looks like it went into your neck and came out your foot. It bounced off me and hit everyone else. I took out the whole team. It's not like it's your fault. Kind of feels that way. I don't remember any of it. How about my friend Carrie? Is she okay? She's wondering the same thing about you. She asked about me? Specifically. What did she say? (laughs) I almost told her. I'm gonna tell her. What are you talking about? Carrie, I tried to tell her. I love her, but her... Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? I gotta tell her. I get to tell her. Leave her alone. All right, she could have died out there. And besides, she's like, mine. She's mine. You need to come back here and sit down. Thank you. Yep, CT looks clear. Which means I can go. I mean, you should observe her. Everybody shut up. Y'all are doing too much. Okay, Warren, you talk. Carrie. Uh. Warren, you have a perforation somewhere in your bowel. We're going to have to take you up to surgery. Should have got your Carrie, ass about the bed. I hit her with lightning. She's just the sweetest. Just please, make sure she's okay. okay we're going to take care of you now. Uh, who's free? I'm free. My patient, I'll take him. Ow! Book an OR, you can observe. She's going to give your bullet a purple what are you nurple. Doing? Other gray, are you free to scrub it? I'm available. Because you haven't been cleared for surgery, right? If we're going to be friends, I have to stop doing that. Sorry. I'm standing right here. Kepner, go prep him. I'm fine. Well, great, then you can keep an eye on Carrie. Dr. Hunt will stay with Linda using a human donor aorta to prepare the vessels. We have to be fast. We all set? Christina, are you excited? Yes, absolutely. Good. The fear of going back in is worse than actually doing it. I like Owen, I think, like... Just one hour. 60% of the time. Incision looks great. Hey, I'm 40 you is the too much. No. 40% uh, yeah. is red flag. <laughs> Do I sound more excited it's than you? Too much no, flag. No, no. How's it going with the hot trauma counselor? It's great. The conversation never stops and I feel good whenever I see him. No heart murmur. Good girl. What do you talk about? Well, he likes to, uh, I guess I, I, I mostly talk and he mostly listens. He's, he's an amazingly good listener. Well, he should be. That's what he gets paid for. <laughs> yeah. You love Warren? 
Warren's bald, Carrie. I know that, Mitch. Not all about looks. If it was, she'd be going for the dark-haired one. I'm a girl who's down with flag football, so you think you love me. Plus, we got struck by lightning, so that's... You made her cry. Sorry. sorry. Warren's a good guy. Probably get a hair piece or something. (laughs) She's crying because everything's changed. You were her team. She was one of you, and and, and now you're just... You're looking at her differently. You know how that feels, huh? No. (laughs) Actually... I'm crying because I'm worried about Warren. (laughs) Could you please find out if he's okay? Really? This is what I'm cleared to do. I'm cleared to solve this puzzle. Don't buy it. Ow, idiot. Scarlet Pimpernel. How did you... There was one C and an M. Hey, are we talking to Derek yet? Today's not the day. Just got out of the joint. Let him ease back into society. You ready? Teddy's rebuilding a woman's atrium out of a sack of cow meat. I get to watch an intestine. Sack of cow meat? Her. Barely won't let me operate till I get this bowl out. I'll cut it out right now. It's only a junkie. What the hell is a pimpernel? Carrie wants to know how Warren's doing. Intestinal perf. Going to surgery. I'm never going to operate again. I'll never operate again because one man thinks I'm crazy. Is this one man? Oh, God. Oh, my. Oh, my God. She never saw it coming. No, 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 no. What? She says she's back in the cuckoo's nest by lunch. What is she? How was your night in jail? You shanked someone right off the bat? It's not funny. They almost charged me with reckless endangerment. What? I mean, that's where you've been all morning? In jail? I can't have this, Derek. I won't. I mean, you endangered a lot of people, bro. Have you ever been over 80? It was really fun. I mean, especially when you go through a corner like that and you're not sure if the rear end's going to stick and the car corrects a little bit and you don't lose control, you just grab it? Have you ever done it? Uh, uh, No, Derek, no. You want to? I assured you. Really Let's go right brain. now. Let's do it. I like that. Yeah? yeah. Uh, you need to help me. I need to. Okay. She's paralyzed, and it's not going to go away. Right She's not going to get any now? better. No, not me. It's Carrie Schultz. She got hit out of nowhere, and I need you to listen to me. Look, this is... No, just shut up, and please listen to me. Make sure I... she's all right. What is she talking about? I'm trying. 120 miles an hour. Stop it. I'm glad you're back. That we're going to be in there together. It makes me a little less freaked out. Is this going to become a thing? You sharing all your sad, scared feeling because we almost got shot together? There it is. Maybe it means you're going to become friends. This boy got it bad. I want to be his friend with bennies. Can I get some bennies? Hmm. Staph infection, which causes cellulitis, possibly MRSA, which could lead to sepsis and death. What that? In Dr. Krev's chest, if he doesn't have that bullet Uh, removed. Can I leave now? No. You don't get into anyone else's or not until you're lead free. Maybe it's a brass bullet. All right, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Start the clock. Dr. Yang, take the heart, please. Badass. I'll All drop right. it. Remember here when Meredith, was it Meredith? Dropped the liver or a kidney Exciting or something? the right atrium? Kidney, maybe a liver. Welcome back, Dr. Yang. Thank you. You went down before the lightning even struck. Warren, I never even saw him coming. Your new scan shows an epidural hematoma. Probably too small to see, and it's been bleeding for hours. It's an easy procedure. And I'll walk again? You'll be out on the field in no time. Book an OR, I'll see you in there. For for an actual surgery? Yes. Thank you. So stupid. All this time, I never told him, and I had all these reasons, you know? They seem like good reasons until we all almost die. Shaking up the team, it's flag football. Why are out there playing flag football We play once a week. I'm an idiot. I thought you were in surgery. Yeah, that guy pulled through. Is Lexi okay? Why don't you ask her yourself? She doesn't need me talking to her. Well, you're the one who ended it. Ended the way it always ends. Close to the chick, the chick goes crazy. Rebecca, and Izzy, my mom. Lightning rod for this crap. Lexi's not crazy. She had a crazy thing happen to her. And Izzy had brain cancer. Rebecca, she was crazy. That was the facial reconstruction trauma. You're not a lightning rod, Alex. You're just a guy who's been through a lot of crap. I wish I had a scalpel right now. Junkie. I mean, cut it out, man. Time, please. We're behind. Dr. Hunt, where are you at? Dr. Yang, trim this pericardium, please. Three centimeters. There's some irrigation in here. Sorry. All right, are we all right? It was just a tray. Hunt, Scared talk the to shit me. out of me. Just get in there. Yang, come help me. Yang? Christina? Christina, talk to me. Grab the order, can you? Oh, shit. Christina, you are She's okay. having a panic attack? Avery, I need that tissue now. Yeah, uh, uh, two hours, 45. Call down to the pharmacy and get another piece of tissue. Christina, Christina, you go. Go now, run, go. I got it, just go. I got it. Good cash, Dr. Gray. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Mark's keeping me chained to his service, keeping me out of surgery. He's afraid for you, so he hovers. 
other people might lock you in a cell overnight to be urinated on by a meth head. <laughs> it all comes from the same place. Oh, you, you can't be in here. The way he said that. But we're friends now, so I'll just ah. shut up. Good girl. Dr. Gray, you shouldn't be in the OR. Christina. Christina. I can't be in here. Snap out I of can't. it, girl. Okay, so let's go. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I can't feel anything. I know. Come with me. No. I, I can't move. I can't move my legs. I can't, I can't feel anything. Um, feel my hand. Take my hand. I hate this for her. Do you feel that? <laughs> okay, you're okay. We're gonna go when you're ready. So you tell me when you're ready. Okay. God, she is a phenomenal actress. Oh my God. Did she win Golden Globes for this? Or Emmys or whatever? Is it over? How is she? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. no. She's fine. Uh, the no. doctors are still working, and someone will be out when they're finished. You're wrong. Sorry? There's no time to wait. People get struck by lightning. People die. My best friend got shot, Torres. Why are you telling me to give it time when there's no guarantee that time is going to be there? Not going to wait around to be happy anymore. All right. This is something that you and I do. We skip steps, okay? I pushed Arizona to have a baby and I almost lost because I skipped a bunch of steps. But then I went back and now she's moving in and ruining my apartment. Look, I'm saying proposing might be too much, especially if she's not herself. I know who she is. And if she's going through her worst right now, I wanna go through it with her. She makes me happier than anything I've ever known. And if I can have a part in, in making her happy again, that's all I wanna do. It's all I wanna do for the rest of my life. Why is he so adorable? <laughs> All right, go tell her that. But just like that. Is she dead? She'll be fine. Can you give us a minute? You were wrong. You were wrong about everything. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, I heard about Christine. Is she alright? No, she's not all right. That idiot is clearing everyone for surgery like they're fine, and they're not fine. Leave it alone, Derek. It was one night in jail. You drive too fast. I don't want to talk about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. All I do is worry that I'm going to get a phone call that you wrapped your car around a pole. That's why I left you in jail. So that I would know that you weren't dying like you were dying on that tape. That's what I think about every time you pull out of the driveway. I'm right here. I'm okay. We're okay. I was pregnant that day. Oh, shit. And I lost it. I didn't say anything. Could I help you? If you want to help me, your driving is something you can control. Just do that. What happened in the OR? We couldn't have seen that. I can't. I can't do it. You said I could do it. I know. I know. I thought you were ready. You've never not been ready. Christina, I know what you're feeling. I don't feel anything. I can't be in there. And if I can't be in there, I don't know where I'm supposed to be. My wife, man, you can just be here. I'm sorry. I mean, that kind of event. Oh. Oh, she can't do that. You have for a visitor? Or the job? Sorry. Or all of it? Is she about to pull a Izzy and what? leave for a minute? They told me that I slammed you really hard in the field. Accidents happen. It's, it's football. I'm fine. They also told me that I got you all struck by lightning. That's... I just, I wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm not. I love you. Oh. I've been in love with you forever. <sighs> Dr. Gray, can you please push me a, a little closer? That's cute. Lightning doesn't often strike twice. It's a once in a lifetime thing. Even if it feels like the shock is coming over and over again. You patient? I did. I have a surgery. You're actually gonna let me near a patient? You are the patient. Get in there and get on that table. I don't need a reminder of this thing. Now, now they've plastered over every bullet hole in this building. I don't need a reminder every time I look at you. And I'm tired. That makes sense. Of bullying you. I am asking you, please, get in there and get your shirt off. Yes, ma'am. You don't say no to Bailey. Eventually, I'll be like, okay. The pain will go away. Just like that. The shock yes, will wear off. Aye, aye, Captain. You ready to go? I, uh, I pushed a reservation. Do I talk too much? I'm enjoying you and this, and I feel good when I'm with you, but well, that's your job, to come in here and to listen to people talk. I want to be sure that I'm not using you for that, that I'm, I'm, I'm not treating you like a, like a, well, like a... Shrink? Like a shrink, because I'm enjoying this. Now you talk. Um, well, listening to you is not work. I'm happy to talk, but I have listened a lot today, talked a lot too. And so for now, I'd like to say, I'm enjoying this too. And now, maybe we can both not talk for a while. And 
you start to heal yourself. Exit time! Did you know that Weber went over my head and cleared Yang for your OR? We really don't have to, to talk. <laughs> Lexi. Did I forget to clean something? Did I already no, know that? I just need to talk to you. You don't. I mean, no. I knew she was cleared, I but I thought to he be cleared here. her. Was like an oversight. I went through a rough patch, and you helped me, and I appreciate that. But I am moving out of it, and you won't let me. You're treating me like I am a basket case. Everyone is watching you, and they're believing you. I had a good day today. I saved a girl today. I did that. I am a good doctor, and I don't deserve for people to think that I am anything less than that. Please, just leave me alone. Can you just leave me alone? You got it. To recover from something you never saw coming. I get where he's coming. I got, I see, I feel him. Charles was a good guy. It's fine. Reed. She was kind of messed up, but she wasn't a bad person. Just, I don't, know, I don't know why. I shouldn't just get to walk away, you know? I don't know why we made it either. We just have to find a way to be grateful. You made it because you were smart and said you were a nurse. Son of a bitch. Agreed. Yeah, get that shit out of there. Paint a page. You got a girl you love who loves you back. Paint it whatever you stupid color she wants. smacking those lips, boy. <laughs> But sometimes the odds are in your favor. 50% of marriages end in divorce. So true. between the two of us, me and McDreamy should be fine. I thought it would fix me. Is she for real already ending it? That's not why he married you. He married a corpse. I'm dead inside. I told Derek about the miscarriage. I told him. You got married, Christina, for better or for worse. This is the worst part. The thing is, there will be better parts. You should go back. Yeah. Yeah. Christina. Uh oh. You don't feel nothing. You didn't feel nothing. You felt scared and you felt anger. You were angry at me. And after what you've been through, you're allowed. I know because when I was there, I felt all those things and I, I took it all out on you. And you were patient and you were kind and you stayed through it because you loved me. So uh, you can be scared with me or you can be pissed with me or at me. I don't care because I'm going to stay through it all. I'm not going anywhere. I mean, I dig that. I'm going I dig that. Without He's you. fighting for her. Let's go home. I heard her eat stir before you came, but that was a nice speech. If you're in just the right place at just that the right time, that friendship and Christina and Meredith, you can take a hell of a hit. I lost a baby. I almost lost my husband, and my best friend may never recover. So I don't care what you do. Clear me or don't clear me. I have no control over any of it. I'm giving up. That's probably all he wants to hear. You have no control. Well, that sounds like a good plan. You're cleared for surgery, Dr. Gray. And still have a shot at surviving. Damn, damn, damn. Another solid, awesome episode. I love, I don't love seeing them like still dealing with the aftermath of this, of that event, but I love that they're getting over it. We're trying to deal with it. I said that on the first episode of the season two, that I, that it's not just something that like we're moving past and pretending like it never happened. I dig that. Um, it seems like we're starting to heal. The relationship between Owen and Christina does make me super nervous, like two people with massive PTSD for two totally different reasons. And Owen went through the freaking shooting as well, but he already had PTSD. It just makes me really, really nervous. I feel like it's a ticking time bomb. It makes me anxious. I don't know what's going to happen with it, but maybe nothing will happen with it. Maybe they'll be happily ever after. Who the hell knows? I love Bailey. I love that she made Alex get that shit out of his chest. Can't wait to see what happens next. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.